here is my Space Invaders machine. It's the Taito or Taito cocktail model. And it started having some monitor issues that I posted a little while ago. And instead of going through to try and figure it out, since I can't seem to find a schematic, or let alone some of the parts, I'm sure I'm not going to be able to find a new flyback for it, I read that you can actually connect the Space Invaders board to a television through the video compo uh, component in. It's, you know, that red, yellow, and white jack. And so what I did is I actually just made a connector so that I could actually connect my TV to my Space Invaders machine. And I'm going to show you how I did that so that there is a reference point on how to do it. It's actually not too bad at all. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure it out, and uh, part of the reason was because I had a short in my cable that I made. Once we got that figured out, we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll turn on the lights and we'll show you how that's made and turn the game off and all that. So this is the Toei GM140 arcade monitor. It's a black and white monitor. It operates at 100 volts, so that's something to take into consideration when, you know, testing this monitor out. But anyway, this is the monitor chassis, and there are only four wires that connect to it, and they're right over here. So the one at the very top, that's going to be our video signal followed by the ground for the video signal. And then the last two wires that come in are our power wires. And that's it. Those are the only four wires that actually go into this chassis. So when you're about to find the wire, just to make sure that you've got continuity and everything, you want to look for the T connector. And so when you're looking down at the board, when you're looking at the front of the cocktail table, G is over here and you want T. And the T connector, uh, that's just the label for it, it's this edge connector down here, and that is the one with the video wire. I'll try to show you what it is down there. So it's the one down there, and if you look, it is the wire with the twist on it. So let's see if we can set that there for us so we have some light. So, there's a wire right down here with the twist on it, and it's going to be pin number 18. So it's actually this little red wire right here. So if you pull that off, you'll be able to check for continuity. Just pull off this edge connector, and you'll be able to check for continuity at the end. So here's your connector, that, and this is the one that goes into the monitor chassis. It's only these four wires here. I've already gone through and I cut off the two for the video signal. The first one, this white one, is the video signal. And the black one here, that's your ground. And these other two black and white wires are for the power to the monitor chassis. Now once you cut those, you're going to need to, you'll be left with just the wires here. Now the ground on this is this is a, I guess what you call a shielded wire. So the ground actually goes around the outside here in this brown wire. So you do need to ground to that. That's what's actually connected beneath the uh, heat shrink tubing here. So that's going to be our ground. And this is going to be our video signal. So I've already connected my two wires to that to make my uh, yellow RCA jack to connect to my TV and I'll show you how that's made too. So here is our you know our yellow video RCA jack that we're all familiar with. This is what you're going to use to connect to your television. This middle pin right here that's for our video signal and then this outer ring here is going to be for our ground. And if you don't have one that you can put together you can just take an old one and cut it off and check for continuity to make sure you've got the right one checked and all you do is just kind of solder the wires on. Now what I did is I marked which one was the video signal and this one right here that I put with a you know marker stripe goes to my the inside here right down there and that goes to the pin 
which is my video signal. And that, as a reminder, goes to this white wire here. And that's cut off the, from the end that goes right to this connector here, which goes to the monitor chassis. This other wire here goes to this lead here, and which then ends up going around here, and this is our ground. And once you're done with that, you can literally just plug that right into your television, and you'll be able to get a video signal. Now the plan is for this, obviously the TV I was showing was too big. I'm hoping to get a 13-inch tube TV to throw in, in place. And for power, since I'm assuming that I'm going to be getting 100 volts at it, I don't think that'll be enough. So I'm going to plan on using the service outlet switch, and hopefully I can make that work. So that's the plan for that. And just to kind of recap real quick, all I did was take the wire that was going to the monitor chassis for the video signal and we made ourselves a little connector that goes into our television down here. And now we're able to watch Space Invaders actually go through and play on the television. So there you go. Hopefully that's useful to somebody, especially when they want to try and fix their monitor and find that there's not much out there for this Toei monitor in their cocktail. So you can actually use a 13 inch tube TV replacement and hopefully I can show you a video on how I set that up in the future. Thanks a lot guys. Take care.